Now let's see how we can use a context free grammar to identify patterns. So context free grammars could be written as rules inside a Yak script and used with the Yak tool. So Yak tool will help us to generate a, a parser for our input stream. So Yak tool can't operate alone. It needs the user. It needs the help of Lex tool also. So uh, we are actually creating a tool chain out of it. So we will actually use Lex and Yak together. So using Lex, you will actually generate lex.yy.c, which is having yylex file function, which is our lexical analyzer. Then using Yak, we will actually generate two files, y.tab.c and y.tab.h. So y.tab.c uh, contains another function, yyparse, which is actually the implementation of our parser. So the parser will parse the tokens pass from uh, yylx and we'll check whether it confirms to the cfg so that is the use of y.tab.c file it contains the parser so if you see here yylx passes tokens to the parser so tokens are actually integer representations which are represented in y.tab.h so when you actually pass a yak script to yak for yak tool uh, a representation containing the integer values of the tokens as well as y.tab.c is generated. So y.tab.h has to be included along with lx.yy.c uh, before it is being converted to a executable. Okay, so the things to note here is first the toolchain works like this. You have to first feed your CFG as script to yak. Yak will generate y.tab.h and y.tab.c. This y.tab.h has to be included in your lex script so that it could generate lx.yy.c containing y.tab.h as a header because yylx will pass tokens as integers to yy parts so those integers would be referenced from y.tab.h okay so yy parts is the actual function that gets triggered first then yy parts will iteratively call yylx as and when it requests tokens from the input stream so actually we start with this uh, yak section and this yak section will actually use the lex section so that's how this works